Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Dom One, and I am back with another video. Uh, reports are surfacing that uh, Ryan Colangelo, he's the GM of the 76ers, is accused of having multiple Twitter accounts and trolling, not even uh, trolling his own players that who play for the 76ers as well as his as well as coaches and other players around the league uh he's doing his best interpretation of Kevin Durant even though Kevin Durant had one burner account where he would talk smack and talk crap to uh anyone that trolls him on Twitter but that's neither here nor there this man is the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. And it's one thing to have a burner uh, account where you can just uh, tweet as disrespectful as you possibly can on your adversaries. But this guy had multiple burner accounts and would talk crap not only about the players that the 76ers would play against, but his own players and the coaching staff. Uh, now, Ryan Colangelo saying that this is not true, but this is only, this is going to fall either one or two ways. Either he is, uh, they come out with a report and say someone is trolling Ryan Colangelo, trying to implement him with these, uh, uh, burner accounts or, Ryan Colangelo is going to have to step down because he made multiple uh, Twitter burner accounts and it's against the rules and regulations of the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, this is career suicide. Okay. This is career suicide, which by the way, this is a lesson to all the trolls out there. No matter how many burner accounts you have and uh, multiple accounts you have where you can troll on other entity, other content providers, uh, trolling people on social media like Instagram, Twitter. No matter how many of these accounts you have, uh, eventually this stuff creeps up and haunts you. And it really uh, gives a telltale sign about you that you're not man or woman enough to use your official account to, uh, you know, agree or disagree with some personality or someone else on social media. If you uh, have issues with that personality, you will go to the extent of creating multiple burner accounts. But if this is proven true, not only Ryan, Ryan Colangelo is a troll, an internet troll, but he's going to lose his job, his credibility, his clout. Uh, I don't see him, if this comes out to be true, I, I, I just don't see him getting another GM G, a gig for the NBA, uh, for the developmental league. I, I just, uh, basketball, period. And this will tarnish his career when um, he's able to be accepted in the Basketball Hall of Fame. This is, uh, this doesn't look good. And I get a sneaking suspicion that this is true about him, all right? If you read a lot of news articles about Ryan Col uh, Colangelo, uh, he really doesn't speak too highly of, you know, current players. Uh, what players, um, you know, I mean, he really don't like uh, the nuances of today's players and how you have to sort of kiss their tails and uh, gravitate towards them because the players have all the leverage and they have all the uh, power. Well, the superstar players does. And this also tarnishes and stained the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, the trust, uh, the trust uh, process, the ability to sign other uh, superstar talented players like LeBron James. They were in the LeBron James sweet stakes. Uh, just this, you know, being put out there that, uh, you know, I don't see LeBron James choosing the Philadelphia 76ers uh, this offseason, you know. 
which I, I done went into details about LeBron James and his uh, free agency that's pending over the sun, uh, the summer. And I told you guys what I feel about that and what he's going to ultimately do. That's neither here nor there. But Ryan Colangelo, you got a lot of explaining to do. And like I said, it's going to either go one or two ways. Uh, either they uh, say that this is something that uh, uh, someone else is doing to stain Ryan Colangelo or Ryan Colangelo did indeed do this and not only he's going to lose his job uh, as the gm of the philadelphia 76ers which by the way uh this franchise is on the upswing okay uh they're going to be contending for titles okay um uh, and the possibility of him getting a gig like that uh as what or just getting any gig in the nba I, I don't see him uh, recovering from this, okay? Uh, he's going to be uh, blacklisted from the NBA. And it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, the day he... If this is proven to be true, the day he gets a GM job is the day when Isaiah Thomas finally gets a GM job. Or Mark Jackson finally becomes, finally becomes a head coach, Okay. And when you talk about those two uh, individuals, um, the reason, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the NBA and their stance, if you're the polar opposite of what they're trying to portray in the NBA, you're going to be out, ousted by the NBA. Isaiah Thomas, uh, due to the har uh, sexual harassment suit, uh, that didn't look good for Isaiah Thomas. And that's what's hanging on Isaiah Thomas as far as him uh, getting uh, even a coaching gig, okay? You you would think Isaiah Thomas would be the next head coach uh, for the Detroit Pistons or work in the Detroit Pistons front office because since he used to play for them, but um, those possibilities are 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 not one hundred percent guaranteed possibilities, okay? They're not even in the horizon as a fifty percent possibility. And when you talk about Mark Jackson, even though uh, his religious statements and his religious stands are the re stand is the reason why not only uh, he got oust ousted by the Golden State Warriors as the head coach, but the possibility of him becoming a head coach uh, in the NBA uh, is not guaranteed for him either. And Ryan Colangelo, if this is proven true, uh, He's going to be in that same uh, group of entities, group of individuals that are trying to get back into the NBA. And uh, he will never be a GM uh, on any level of the NBA, uh, even the developmental league, if this is proven to be true. But guys, tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. I'm Chris Dom One, and I am out of here. Deuces.